Hi, I'm Daniel from Post Avoid Printing, and I'm just doing a short video about how to add bleed to a print file when you're using Canva. So I've got Canva open here, and I've got the file already set up. Yeah, you know, it's really easy, but it's also easy to miss <clears throat> when you're doing it. So your artwork's done, it's ready to go. Go to share, then download, then PDF print, and this little button here is all you gotta do, click that. So I'll download it. Okay, the file is just downloading now. I open it up and you can see up here, we've got the, the crop marks and the bleed already added in. So whatever artwork that you set up, uh, it automatically bleeds it over. Now, if you do do something where you're importing an image, um, what you'll need to do, so this is one of mine, is, is when you set it up, get it to sit outside a little bit, see how it goes outside the edge. Um, so again, when we when we share that, you'll see, again, we click crop marks, download it. Okay, so when you come down, you can see the image down here. Zoom in a bit. Right, so you've got the crop mark, so that image where we pushed it out over the edge has bled over. So it's cropped off a little bit, but that's what you need to do. If you've got images, you need to push them out so that they bleed off the edge. Look, I hope that helps you use Canva. It's a great system. Um, it's a really easy way to set up artwork, and when you want to take it to print, you've got to make sure that you include crop marks and bleed just like that. All right, thank you. Hope that helps.